So here's some relaxing music. Okay, so ferret. You want to think about when you're drawing, um, like think about them in shapes. Don't think here's the head, here are the ears. Um, simplify it into its geometric shapes. So the head, you know, with a ferret is circle. So you start there. Then the next shape you see is kind of the torso, but instead of thinking, oh, it's a torso, I have to, you know, draw this, it's like kind of like an egg shape. So it's gonna be like this. Can you see these? Okay. And then you have the back, which is like another egg shape. Kind of like that egg shape. There we go. And then you have a little tail. It's kind of like a semicircle with another semicircle inside. Okay, and then we have what? These are almost like cylinders. A little, you know, maybe draw like a box and then like a half circle here. Okay, and then here we have another half circle, another half circle, and another basically another rectangle or um, yeah rectangle so now you kind of have you know the general shape of a ferret okay so now you want to go in and add in a little more details but again try to think um, shapes and don't get too bogged down and thinking oh my gosh I have to get the nose exactly right you just want to get the general sense so you have a little circle here for the snout, another little circle for the snout, a little one for the eyes, another one for the other eyes, another half circle for the ears, and then another half circle for the ears. Something you don't have to worry too much about, but um, you know, just a little note on perspective. Anything farther away from you, it tends to be smaller. Anything closer to you, it's a little bit bigger. Okay, so now we need to add the mouth in. It's basically like a half line there, half line there, but fair looks kind of sad, so let's maybe add, make it like a little smile. You know, smiles turn upwards. So basically, that's it. There's your little ferret, and if you want to add in some, you know, you can, you know what it looks like. They have the little stripes here. Some more stripes there. There we go. There's another little stripes here with the head. And I think ferrets have whiskers. It's looking like a really scary bear. And they have little fur here. And then here you can kind of like look at it. And it's like, oh, it looks like at the top of the ear it connects. So you can connect the ferret down and then you're like we got some claws don't worry about making it perfect you're just really making the little textures just kind of follow the lines a little more claws okay there's his little belly more claws here and it looks like he has fur There we go. And you basically can color all of this in. It looks like he has a little more fur here. A cute little ferret. I kind of want a ferret. Can you see all of this? Okay. Yay! Okay, now, if you really want to get into it, we can actually, um, let me get some colored pencils. We can really go crazy and find some colored pencils. Okay, we found our colored pencil. Literally that. So simple. And don't get too crazy or bogged down. You don't need, you know, all of the colors. I'm thinking we'll just use red. Let's see. We'll do brown and some black, and I think yellow. I always love yellow, so these are the colors you're using. But you can really use a combination of any colors. So, I always, this is gonna get hard because guys, I like just overthink stuff. 
but let's we're gonna try and think about it like let me see here we go focus it um sort of like highlights and shadows <laughs> so again don't overthink this I always like to use yellow whenever you think like oh the Sun hit something you know it just sort of makes it come alive just a little bit so again this is totally unnecessary okay here's the body a little over here I think we're good it looks like there's a little bit of highlight like the Sun's hitting here that's it okay now we'll go ahead and do the nose there's a little nostril a little nostril there here's his little mouth and we're gonna make him smile okay now we're gonna use black I think this is black Here's his eyes. So if you notice, where it, like for eyes, if you leave a little white dot, it kind of creates, it's sort of like this little highlight from where the light hits it. Again, you can color it all the way in, but if not, if you leave a little white dot, it makes it look just slightly more realistic. So we're gonna add the color of the fur here. It looks like color that in looks like he goes all the way around here's your little ferret I just like this little squiggly lines because it makes him feel really nice and fuzzy so it looks like there's just a little bit you can only see a little bit of his brown there and then here you go. You can really see more of it on this side. Here's kind of like a little bit under his chin. Okay. I think we should go with brown, with black here because I think it's kind of dark. Or another option is just color this whole thing brown. I need to sharpen my color pencil. Oops. Okay. Now we can go back in here. This is the shadow opposite of the highlight. So you just kind of wherever you see it's darker, just color in the darker. And normally when it's underneath the belly. The sun is hard to, it's hard to get to that spot, so you can make it a lot darker. And then this little arm, remember we had the highlight right there, so we wanna keep it. Does not matter which direction you make this in. Okay. Little ferret is getting all nice and, there we go. Oops, we don't wanna forget his ears. We'll just kind of, and it looks like he has there we go now his back looks a little bit lighter so we'll just use the brown and not worry about the black and it looks like his tail is quite dark so for his tail we're gonna go all the way black and see you add the fuzzies in whatever direction you want to. Then you got his little legs are black. Okay. Yay! And now it looks like his claws are actually they're kind of light colored. So you just create a box, like a little square around his little legs and just color in the rest of the half circle and make the box 
I'm gonna color that in. Just color in between those spots. Okay, and then the last one, another little box. I'll color that in too. Ta-da! Now we have the ferret. And then, because I'm obviously not going to complex this anymore for you, um, think about whenever the sun is shining in like this way, you're going to create a little bit of a shadow underneath. So for the shadow, let's just use black, but just go really, really gently and just sort of don't press too hard on it. There you go. Voila, you have your ferret. <laughs> Enjoy.